I'm Jonathan. Hi, I'm Haley. And today we are doing a video uh, inspired by my reading is odds. Uh, Thanks. Video uh, that is, if you recall, we did a video a while back where I picked some book covers of, <clears throat> excuse me, of books of mine that uh, had Haley guess what they were about, and we saw how, you know, far off base she was. Uh, or on occasionally very on point. Anyways, you should watch it. It was great. I'll link it down below. I had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, anyways, we are doing the other way around. She's got some book covers for me, and I'm going to make a fool of myself. <laughs> um, it was a little bit hard to pick some book things because we talk a lot about books. So I, yeah, hopefully he doesn't remember any of these if we've talked about them. I may be like, this looks familiar, but I'm terrible with names. So I've kind fun. of tried to, you know, guess, like mention things and see if he remembers it recently. So, well, hopefully not. Show me the first one, okay. and we'll put uh, images of the books up. Yeah, so they'll, you can they'll see. appear. Same as last time. This is the first one. Okay. Uh... Dead Witch Walking by Kim Harrison. Um, okay. So, it mentions a, wit, a dead witch and something about vampires, and she's got handcuffs. So, uh, zombie witch policing the, like, undead community. No. I mean, you get, there are vampires that are being policed in the books, so I'll give you that. But there are also vampires who, like, are, I mean, not cops, but law enforcement type people in the book, so. Um, it is about a witch and a vampire and a pixie who all live together in an old abandoned church and are private eyes. I don't feel too bad about that. I mean, Private Eyes, You definitely please. caught on that it was urban fantasy. <clears throat> like, you got the genre. Okay, well, show me the next one. Okay, uh, How I Paid for College, a novel of sex, theft, friendship, and musical theater by Mark Aceto. I think so. Um... I really love this cover, by the way. I know y'all can see it. It's one of my favorite covers of all time. Yeah, I like it, too. Um, all right, so it is, I mean, it, it is, I'm going to guess, a uh, semi-autobiographical, uh, autobio uh, autobiographical, the word that she just said, novel uh, about... How someone is paying their way through college, obviously, uh, forming a troop of uh, like burlesque musical theater that it serves as diversion for like a pickpocket who steals all the audience's stuff, and you know then they like sneak into their houses later, you know, like steal the keys and stuff, and they go in and like burglarize them and so on, and then use that to pay for college tuition. It's pretty good. I don't hate I it. I would read that. I would. I would read that. But no. It's about a bunch of queer high schoolers who, and like not some not queer high schoolers, yeah, but that all get together and create a fake scholarship via a heist so that one of their members will be able to attend the same elite academy of the arts that they are all trying to get into. That sounds pretty good too. And it's amazing. And this, um, remind me about this later. I want this on my TBR. Um, so next one. Landline, a novel by Rainbow Rowell. Uh, Illinois uh, Park and Hmm. Novelization of one teen's quest to not have dial-up internet anymore because it's like 2006 and that's just sad. And, um, 
you know, when dial-up is still like a thing, you know, something somewhere around that time period, <laughs> and it's just like in uh, a, a like comedy of errors type thing, struggling to just just sign up for broadband, just you know, and one thing after another keeps preventing it from happening. This sounds like a great book. I'm really into it, but you get like zero points. Womp, womp, womp. This one gives me much less to go on. Yeah, I tried to softball you a couple of them. I tried so, to do a different a little bit. What's it about? I want to know. This is about a middle-aged writer who is experiencing a like midlife crisis and marital discord. And her husband, after a fight, takes the kids to his parents for Christmas and she stays behind to work on her show. And it turns out that when she calls him via her old phone at her mother's where she goes to spend some time whenever she is lonely because all her kids and her husband are gone, mm -hmm. that she is somehow magically connected to his parents' landline in the past. And she is talking to him back when they first met. This sounds vaguely like the plot of there's some movie or something that's got a similar plot line to this, I think. I, I mean, not know, exactly the same, but the whole, I mean, just the whole correspondence or whatnot going to the past type You're thing. You're thinking of the lake house. Probably. I don't know movies. We've um, seen it together. You did not like it. Yeah. Had Keanu Reeves in it, I think, was the guy. It didn't make and much Sandra of an impression. Um, it was like a romance movie. Yeah, like a rom-com type thing, sort of. But uh, anyways, that also sounds good. You're basically just going to have to send me the list of books on this. I'm going to have to see if I want a TBR any of them. <laughs> it also has a really good cover. Yet again, like, I tried to pick some covers that yeah. were really good. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I, something sounds familiar about this book title, but... I, on, it, this is just because we talk about books a lot, and I'm sure you've mentioned it to me, but probably not what it was about. Well, and so. I read most of these books while we were together. Only, like, one of them or two yeah, of them. Yeah, I mean... Eight. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. Man, this is frustrating, because I'm convinced you must have told me about this book at some point. And now, um, yeah, you have. I know you have. My memory is terrible. Um... I'm sure you told me about it. You told me about that whenever we were doing yours. You told me something about yours. And yeah, I've still I forgotten. Uh, yeah. Um, coldest Girl in Cold Town. So I, I don't think I'm going to be able to like accurately guess. So I'm just going to go with whatever comes to mind. So The Coldest Girl in Cold Town is about... It is this like s town in, in the far north. Uh, Say so it's... Um, what is it, like the thing from Frozen, where they're like harvesting ice from frozen lakes and all that. And it is literally a novel about the the girl who lives in the like most poorly insulated and heated home in the community and uh, I'm trying to think of a plot that would go with that. Um, and she is, like the, the constant cold has, has, has hardened her heart Wow, I'm really stealing from Frozen here a little bit. You know, thematic inspiration. Um, and... Mm, serial killer. She goes on a murder spree against everyone oh, wow. who's ever slided her. Went way off course in Frozen there at the end. Um, no. Not, no, not at all. Yeah, I know. I'm um, not, I'm <laughs> okay, what's it about? Um, it is about a world where vampires exist and it is a communicable disease and they have been put in like sanitary concentration camps called cold towns mm, and yeah dead a girl who does a, a girl experiences a kind of horrific circumstance and ends up racing to get to one of them and gets into a cold town even though she is still human and there are there is drama afoot there. this also sounds interesting Holly Black is great, and it's a pretty good book, but it's not like any of her other books. It's very interesting. Yeah. You got another one for me? I got at least one more, maybe two. Tana French. Um, the Secret Place by Tana French. This sounds really familiar. Um, is this that, uh, the, 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 like, what is it, Dublin Murder Squad? Thing. 
You got it. Look, there's one of them right here. <laughs> I knew I recognized that. Hey, I mean, you get major points for remembering what series it's in. Yeah. Because it doesn't say it on the front. There's, um, I actually think I may remember you telling me about this. Mm hmm. Um, so it's like a police procedural about, like, investigating. I'm gonna guess a murder just because it isn't the name of the series, like the Dublin Murder Squad. Uh, something to do with the Coven of Witches or something? You do, I think, remember it a little bit. Yeah, but I know it's not a coherent like plot summary, but... It is about a bunch of girls at a very, very rich private school who are somehow tied to a murder and they can't exactly figure out why. The murder has gone cold, but suddenly there was a new clue that popped up on a, like, you know those boards at school where they put up flyers and stuff? They have one at the school that is for kids to, like, express their feelings anonymously. The secret place. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Um, Wait, and so this did, is Was like there something occult? Hmm? Yeah, am I just... Um, um... That is really hard to describe without totally spoiling the okay. book, and I don't want to deal with I'm people, sorry if But I've... I will 100% say that it is not, like, a coven of witches. It's, I get why you thought that, because of things I may have mentioned to you, and I'm surprised and impressed that you remembered that, because that's a really minor part of the book, but... I Honestly, I just kind of remember you at the time being like, where is this going? Because <laughs> this book, these series normally are. I mean, it's a that. mystery, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, th that one was just... The, you get some of, good points on that, though. It was a wash, though, because you'd already told me about it at one point. Well, no, but that's that's part of the fun of the game. Yeah. Is do you remember? Okay. Warriors of Alavna. Al Alavna. I want to yes. say that Alvana so bad. <laughs> Alavna by N.M. Brown. And absorbing fantasy thought-provoking issues to ponder. School Library Journal. Um, okay, so it's fantasy. Um, it is about... Uh, let's see, it looks like a bird. It is about a, like, order of, of, of warriors who ride, like, giant birds, like, like, like steeds into a battle, um, fighting an encroaching evil of um, deforestation, people cutting down all the trees that's, you know, support the ecosystem that these, you know, birds depend on. Um, I like this plot, it sounds good. So what am I, how far off am I? Like, really I got far. it exactly right, right? Real far, but it was, I liked it though. I, I would give you points just for how good it was. Oh yeah, if I can't guess what it's about, I just, you know. Um, it is about two high schoolers who end up traveling back in time through the mist into the, um, into like pre-medieval England, I can't think of the right name for the time period, like nearly Neolithic England. Like Roman times? Yes, but a little not. Uh, like it deals with that, um... Anyways bunch of that Roman squadron that like went missing and never came back. Out in the oh middle. yeah, the it deals with them at one, one part of the, of the I forget what legion it was, but um, and they like discover once they are back in time that they have some strange happenings going on with them, and it's really okay. good. I love it. I've read it like a million times. Interesting. All right. It has an extremely nondescript cover. That's why I picked it. That's fair. Um. Do you have any more for me? Nope, that's it. It's the last one. No! Okay, fine. Awesome. Maybe we'll um, do it again sometime. Yeah, we gotta keep doing these. Uh, they're fun. It is they're fun. even more fun to guess in a lot of ways than they are to actually, like, know what it's about. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. We'd, uh, you know, love to hear what you thought of my guesses. Please be kind. Um, and, you know, if you want to see more from us, go ahead and hit subscribe. We do these, you know, pretty regularly. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, links to inter 
to our Goodreads and social media and all the books that we mentioned will be down in the to-do review. I knew I was forgetting something. Bye. <laughs>